is constantly stepping back with their right and then they'll make a swing where well, they're getting their right hip out of the way. So for me, a drill has always been to step back, step back, and hit it because uh, I like the feeling of moving away from the ball. Because yeah, gives you more freedom. More freedom, and, and then I can straighten my arms. Yeah. I've never had the problem of chicken wing or pulling my arms in. And that happens mainly because people start and then they move closer to the ball and they're going, uh-oh, yeah. abort mission, so they pull their arms in. And then somebody says, no, you got to straighten your arms. Well, if they move closer and straighten their arms, you hit it in the hosel. Let's see if I'm doing this right, Mike. You won't try to hit a ball yet. Please. Well, here, put it on a tee and just do it okay. easy. So you start out here. Mm -hmm. We'll start there and just do it without a ball first. Okay. So as the club, it starts out here. As the club swings back, your right foot okay, steps back. You. Then your left foot, and then you hit. Then you hit. That's perfect. Then you hit. There you go. I'm going to try that. Yeah, I can definitely see, like, you know, when you said Nicholas, he was bending your thumbs. You can feel that. You're going this Boom. way. You're going Boom. this way. That. Those are straight line forces. That's pushing away. Now, people mistake that for hip turn. Boom. Boom. <laughs> and you start. You know, I started twisting before I was on this side. But we'll see. Right. As long as you and I have worked, when I told you, you tanned. The yeah. guys who are, now, here's the guys who are twisty. Right. Here's what they don't do that you do. And, and everybody's talking now about this handle and how they want to feel like it goes that way. Yeah. Okay, you can you can be twisty if the handle goes this way. Or you have that widening. But, yeah. So if this widens as you twist, you can play. Mm -hmm. If you twist and you drag, yeah, which yeah. is what you did when we started, you'd get here and go like this. So the handle would get so far up here so quick, you right. couldn't catch the face up. Right. And when you did, it was too low. Let me try that again. So you're saying the, the, the piece that I missed there when I went here, I guess stay stay wide, but yeah. also land and then push. Yeah, you gotta land. Yeah, because I went boom. Yeah, you know, yeah. And do it slow. Just do it easy and hit it easy. Yeah, gotcha. Start outside. There you go. Right foot steps back. Left foot steps back and hit it. There you go. Yeah. Now you start doing that, and all mm -hmm. of a sudden you'll feel this freedom through the ball, and you'll feel how your arms have to you're straighten here. out. Yeah. Yeah, so that feels, that's that one good. of the, I mean, that, and I used to, we used to do it as kids and we'd have competitions and we'd line, I could line, seriously, I could line 50 balls up oh, right. and start and just go one, two, yeah. and it wouldn't matter how far you put them apart because I just, I just manage how much my feet had to move and if they're far apart, but I could go down a range and just keep hitting balls and hit hooks, fades, high, low, and never, right. not miss hit one. That's so good. Because then you're then you're constantly learning how to. The other thing that that consistent consistency does, where you swing and keep going, it makes you stay and feel where the club is, and you have to keep offsetting the force of the club. Because if you get out of sync with it, it pulls you off balance. You can't get back to the next one. Now, now if you were doing this drill that you were just talking about, and instead of like say they were all the, all the same distance apart, but. I was to call, before you step back, I was to call the, a different yardage to hit it. So you had six iron, and I said, all right, eight iron, or I'm uh, sorry, 80 yards. 130 or 80 or 60. Yeah, I could 170 yards. What would I see different into the ground of what you would do if I called out a bigger number as opposed well, to a so, smaller number? So, okay, so you, so you call 80. Yeah. You call 160. Yeah, what happens differently well, there in oof, the ground? It's this. Oh, okay. So this is the same. It's just when I get here, I just don't push back. So if I'm only going to hit it 60 yards, I'm doing this. If I'm going to hit it 100 yards, I'm doing that. If I'm going to hit it 180, but it's here. Mm. See, this pushing back is what accelerates back. And at what point is the, is that pushing? You're here, you sink, and right then right about there it right starts. Right about there, like armpit or so. Right about there it starts, and then it continues consistently with the, yeah. Yeah. And the harder I push back, as the club gets in here, the harder I push away yeah. and back, the more it accelerates the club forward. Yeah, and then it's it's the the push, and then it's the the sling and the force of that club that is then the resultant thing that's bringing you into a nice finish. Right. It's it's not so much that you're you're hitting it and then giving it like the no. fake PGA Tour logo. No. Yeah. no. Right. It. I mean, the weight of that club's going so hard this way. If if you don't push back hard enough and you stop pushing back right about here, everything will pull you up this way. Right. Which is what a lot of tour players do, and they finish on balance. Let's see if I can do that drill.
Balance is another one of these words that's gotten a real bad understanding or lack of it. So. Oh, oh, actually, I like when you start it. You got to kind of rock it, don't you? You start it out in front at first. So you start it, and then you swing it back, step, step, and hit. You step, then swing it? No, you, so the first one, you start with the club out here. Yeah. As the club's swinging back, oh, your like right foot steps the, uh, back. I got you. Then as the club's still going back, your left foot steps behind your right, and then you hit it just like that. Mm -hmm. Left, right, hit, just like that. Oh, so good. No, get your left deeper, B. Get yeah, your left foot deeper. What, what do you say would, if, if we looked at the video, and since your eye is so sharp after so many years of this, between that one that it hit kind of skunky that when I first tried doing this and that one, what would you think kinematically we would see the difference in the movement? Well, you'd see difference in a couple of things. First of all, the, the first one you hit, you stepped this foot back, but then this foot didn't step back far enough, so your hip never really got out of your way. Oh, and, and the first one I had, I started spinning before I pushed. Yeah, so yeah. You, you got, you went here, and you didn't step back far enough, and you started spinning early. So, see, when I do it, my, my right foot goes back, mm -hmm. but then my left foot steps back further. It, it, see, my toe is almost even with my heel. I know. So I go right foot. So my t whatever amount, this one goes back behind this foot, then this one goes back behind this one. Okay? Yeah. Boom, boom. So then my hip, boom, boom, is moving out of the way. Yeah. That's and so a lot of people, they'll step this one back, and then they'll stay right here, which ends up pushing them up <laughs> the uh, okay. ball more. Because yeah. this foot's, the, the key to the drill is straight line forces. This hip, this leg is pushing this hip straight back. And then as this one goes, this leg helps push this hip straight back. So your hips are just moving they're get, your hip sockets are moving back, which is how your body's designed to move, straight line forces. So if people screw this drill up, is it usually they're not taking big enough steps or they're not pushing hard enough? Or what's the normal way that people mess it up or well, when they, they do it on their own? What they'll do is they'll start back and they'll step here, and then this one does. This one actually steps back this way. <laughs> right. So they, they'll, they'll step their right foot back, then they leave their left foot there, and now they're right back up into it. So see, I, if anything, I'll go here, I'll step my left foot back further because I want uh, this yeah. out of the way so I can feel what that feels like. Mm -hmm. yep. So if I'm going to make a mistake with the drill... It's almost like that Trevino thing you you're showing me before. It's exactly. It's what Trevino did his whole career was this. Right. Okay, so if I'm going to make a mistake with the drill, I'm going to go, this left foot's going to step back too far. Yeah. Yeah. If I make a mistake, I'm not going to make a mistake not stepping this back because that's right. what it's about. Get this freaking thing out of the way. Out of the way, open and, and, and pushing. Back, yeah. push yeah. back. Push back, push back. Push right. back, push back. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Click the subscribe button. Also, go over to molaskagolf.com. And if you sign up using the promo code BE BETTER, you get a significant discount for doing that. A lot of people have, and they've been real happy with it. Uh, thanks, everybody. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and also the post notification bell. See you there. Bye. All right.